Oh, welcome back my gardening friends to the Canna National Giant Vegetable Championships. Let's have a little look around, see how I've done and uh, how uh, everyone else has. So let's just start off with some of the uh, giant marrows this time. definitely some uh, beasts about but if you grow it show it nobody gets embarrassed here these are the uh, green cabbages and uh, some of these are a real good size going limp now there's a big cabbage under there somewhere to the red cabbages, my red cabbages are over there, uh, didn't get anywhere, they'd probably been better off uh, in the uh, harvest festival tent, probably got something for quality. I think this is the category that gets the most uh, looks and wows how would you chop them up uh, and make them into something pretty again if you grow it show it no embarrassment here and uh, looks like this is uh, Guinness uh, world record but here in the UK There, so somebody might have moved them, so I don't know. But uh, 636 kilograms plus. So there are the pumpkins. Then we move on to uh, some of the squashes. It's very windy today, you can hear a few bangs and bumps. This is the uh, giant celery. Something that uh, I think I might try. Let's see if I can get some uh, seed. It's uh, 26.9 kilograms. Off onto the uh, Kirobi that we uh, had a go at first time growing. These two came in uh, later on. Uh, up to then Jason was very close he's even closer to Colleen now but I'm uh, proud of those got them on the bench and there's the uh, first place one so you can see I'm uh, I'm not far away Jason you just needed bigger bulges on to the uh, parsnips here somewhere. Here we go. So uh, no placing on that but 2.2 kilograms. Fifth place was uh, 3.6. Uh, there's a good one on the uh, first place which was uh, nearly five uh, kilograms. Carrots not that many entered in there. Again, where did mine go? Here's mine. At uh, 2.48. Well, fifth place there was 2.7. And sixth <laughs> was 3.3. Well, that, no, that was a parcel. It was three. But uh, there's six. 2.7 so I, uh, I wasn't too far away 2.7 a few kilos <laughs> leaks again Mr. Paul Rochester wind 
use it again. Uh, he did it again with the uh, giant radish. Small onions here is uh, very strong. It doesn't matter what they look like. So uh, first place weighed in at. 12.895 to our manager of fifth at uh, 6.630. So happy with that. Half the size, but very happy. Beetroot. Uh, some monsters here, guys. Some monsters. So the uh, the winning one was 19.5 and mine was 4.6. No embarrassment there whatsoever. Onto the giant Swedes. Ian Neil, 27.3 kilograms. Again, no embarrassment in uh, bringing these. Uh, these are the watermelons. It's uh, 45.2 kilograms. These are the long cucumbers. Uh, one meter point six nine. The long chilies. I had a little go at this this time, but uh, they uh, weren't uh, brilliant. But well worth uh, a go. Here's the long beans. Uh, this is the uh, one that actually won it. It's. Uh, not in exactly the uh, best condition, but it passed. So if you grow it, show it, make that effort. Well contested. If you want some free tickets, just bung the bean in. Bung the potato in. And some rhubarb. These are the uh, cantaloupe melons. Uh, long veg, uh, I didn't have uh, much luck. You'll see the videos uh, following this of uh, my uh, what happened, uh, all the uh, vegetables. You've seen this first and uh, no embarrassment by bringing uh, my little radish. Little parsnip and uh, my carrot, no beetroot. But unfortunately, there was more than uh, five or six uh, in uh, the category. I think fifth is the highest, so uh, I missed out. But it's always well worth it because if there's only three people enter, you could get a fourth place. These are the uh, aubergines. And, uh, some uh, good sizes on there, well contested. And, uh, the tomatoes uh, are just uh, unbelievable. These are the single tomatoes. Doesn't matter what they look like. And then uh, these are where you enter three tomatoes uh, to try and get the heaviest uh, three. So it's well worth growing more than you need. Onto the heaviest single onions. 
we've got first there at uh, 7.3. Point two on there, that sounds a bit more uh, realistic. Most of the growers were struggling towards the end with them rotting off, shrinking, whatever you like to say. We've uh, my uh, rhubarb coming at 1.86, so the uh, winning uh, rhubarb uh, coming at. Uh, one, I think it is, something like that. Let's have a little look, proper look. 2.9, so I got 1.8, the winner was uh, 2.9. Uh, but as you can see, some of these sticks are not the heaviest. It's an easy category to actually enter. There's some condor potatoes that I tried to grow, and uh, some people here have been very successful. Enter what you grow. This gentleman who entered that one, I'll give him a few uh, hints and tips, and he managed to grow that, and now he's told me what he did to uh, get uh, a second place. Always worth selling our knowledge and experience. And we've got the peppers now. That one weighed in at 0 0.750, so three quarters of a kilo. That heavy cucumbers, the uh, world record was broken. Uh, Yet again for this, 13.388 kilograms, and it was seed from uh, one of the top growers. He screw it, and he's uh, managed to get some uh, uh, get a really good uh, result. Again, people do work like to enter this one. Children's sunflower section. They're supposed to be in good order. Not sure whether you call that in good order or not, but it's got first place for the uh, 12 to 15 year olds. And uh, a lovely proud moment for my uh, granddaughter taking uh, first prize with their sunflower at 75 centimetres. with uh, 68.1 being the closest. It's nice to see him giving out all the cards, unfortunately the one on the end. Uh, that's uh, 5T11, so something uh, we'll do again. And she uh, can't wait until I take these home and then she can have a photo took with them. They're a uh, proud family as well. Many thanks to all of you who've uh, come up to me and said hello, and whether you didn't recognise me or you didn't see me, but you heard me, you know who you are. But yeah, nice to uh, meet up with uh, a lot of my uh, viewers, subscribers, and fellow creators. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember thumbs up or a thumbs down for the uh, interaction. Please remember to leave me a comment and why not uh, consider subscribing. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time my friends. Try for now. Don't forget to check out the end screens for previous shows.